Good to see you guys again. It is good to see the WZ Army. It is Tuesday, October 28th, 2014, and after a hiatus for the last couple of weeks, uh, we are back here tonight. I'm uh, going to give you the rundown of what's been going on with WZR TV, WZRonline.com. I know I put some stuff up on Facebook, a little bit cryptic here and there, so I'll give you the uh, the heads up on what's going down here in just a couple of minutes. How you been, brother? I know how you I yeah, I know how you been. I live with you. Are you literally asking me? Or let me, uh, let me grab a, uh, okay. the, grab the grab a can, can or an ashtray or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. Something You're going to use something with plastic so you can burn my Well, right. no. I'll, I'll, yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, uh, I've been all right. Very, yeah. very, 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 not done yet. Very, 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 very busy, though. Guy comes on yeah. here every you week. Shit all over your, oh, that's yeah, I know. And stuff. Okay. Uh, guy comes on here every week and he bitches say, uh, and he moans about how busy it is. Wah, 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 wah. No. Busy is it busy? No, no, no. I don't it's bitch and complain about how busy it is. I make fun of you for starting every week's show. God, it's been busy this week. But I can truly say it's been busy this week and last week because we've been two weeks uh, removed. Uh, but I, I'm talking about right. MMA mixed with wrestling, not just your wrestling. Your workload has increased. I, I have a new job, yes. We'll be increasing a little bit more with interviews and transcripts and I work things for of that nature. MMA News. Dot com. Dot com. It feels he good to can, say that. Uh, I created that fucking it. site. You can say so you know how hard it hurt hurt me not to be able to plug it or I talk know. about it? Because I know. my boss decided to give it to my little bitch boy that I had doing stuff for me. Uh, I know. It'd be like if, if I owned WZRonline.com and you had nothing to do with it anymore and I'm, I'm on every week plugging it and you're with me. But you can't even mention it. You can't even talk about it. I because thought a, I, th I, I thought a guy mm. uh, like like Nate, uh, Nate. It's Chris Howie is the guy that. No, the there guy. was a, there was a reporter over there. It was at Nate, MMA. Nate. Um, MMA News. Nate. Is that what you're talking about? I guess there was no Nate. Over MMA there. News. Yes. No, there was no Nate. There was no Nate. never a Nate. What was your there name? There was over a. There? My name? Yeah. Nick. Oh, Nick. All right. <laughs> Nick Williams. <laughs> Nick Williams. That was me all along, yeah. Otherwise known as Matt Boone. But anyways, we can officially mention it tonight. Yes. You are a, uh, a part of MMANews.com. I always uh, have been. The website that yeah. you helped build back I didn't help day. build it. I started but, it and uh, built it myself. And then once right. it was built, my rich-ass boss decided to put some money into it. Right, Period. which has been redesigned, and not only that, but you guys have had interviews up with Ken Shamrock, and, and I, I can give you the list if you want. Yeah, it was yeah, a, it was down. a Dave and Buster's, and then we'll get into the show. Right, uh, it was a Dave and Buster's. We're uh, kind of into the show. Yeah, We've been no. into the show for five minutes. But like to the, the part that people care about, it okay. was a Dave and Buster's event, a uh, media event in San Diego, California, la two weeks ago. Right, because we're two weeks removed here. Um. Bellator has got a bunch of legends under contract. They they are they uh, bragged that they had five, five or seven of the twelve UFC Hall of Famers working for them now. Mm. UFC only has twelve Hall of Famers. They had five or seven. I forget which. What are you? What's going on here? I'm, I'm sorry. I do a different thing every week. I said yeah, that. But what's yeah. going on? You didn't tell the people about that. I don't well, I was going to do the Man Chu, but that was last week. So right. I shaved since then. But this yeah. is what's grown in, and we don't have it. Now he's well, got I like a thing that goes down the side, right. but he's got it under the under the chin. I mean, it looks good. I, 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 I'm not yeah. dissing it. But, I did it but, myself, but, too. But um, yeah, when good, I was man. shaving, we didn't have any shaving cream. Yeah. So oh, I had God, to it do. hurts so bad. Yeah, I know. You and you, or you get razor burn, and I'm yeah. about to be fucking two feet away from a camera right. for two hours, so I didn't want a bunch of blotchy <laughs> shit on my face, so I did as little of actual razor shaving. So you didn't have big old I took the clippers razor to burn. it, cleaned it up, and right. yeah, yeah. All right. But so anyways, anyways, Dave and yeah. Buster's, San Diego, California. Bellator's bragging that these are five or seven, I forget the number, of the 12 UFC Hall of Famers working for them now. 
So we got interviews, and, and not all these are up yet. The only ones we've put up so far are Stephen Bonner, right? Ken Shamrock. Mm -hmm. Who was the third? How was Bonner? Was Scott, he was, was Scott Coker? Stephen was, Bonner was the was the author I've only wall? I've only I, I I have to transcribe them all. Mm -hmm. uh, and try transcribing all. But he's a he's a shit talker, Stephen Bonner. He's more of an like a goofball. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I'll put it this way: out of the three, he was the most entertaining yeah, by yeah, far. Yeah, we've got way more than three. Those are the right. three we've put up. Right. Still to come. Check out MMAnews.com. You'll see him throughout the week. We've got another Scott Coker. Uh, Moody got him twice. Scott Coker is uh, Bellator. Uh, He's the senior. Dana White of Bellator. Right, right correct. Uh, or the Vince McMahon of Bellator, whatever. Right. But uh, Or not the Vince McMahon, because he don't own it, but, uh, you know, the front man. President, yeah. Yeah, he's the head he, guy in the charge. Head guy. Right, he right. He replaced Bjorn Rabney this year, so. Right. And uh, basically, he told us. He used to run uh, Strike Force. He created and, yeah, made Strike Force what it was right. and then sold it to UFC. Right. Uh, probably in America, North America, the, the, the most competition UFC's ever had. Yeah, okay. Not as much as okay. Pride. Pride right. was. It would be like the equivalent of WCW kicking WWE's ass during the Monday Night Wars. Like, right. from my perspective as a fan, at least, Pride was way better than UFC when they were both at the same time. Mm -hmm. Not just in terms of who had the better fighters, who had the better fights, but like just the better shows. Yeah, yeah. Because Pride was like well, the, Pride would Japanese. open up their shows with the drums, the guy on the drums, boom, and boom, a diaper boom, and you know? playing the yeah, <laughs> fucking yeah, drum. Yeah. it was so. So anyway, you got a uh, you got Scott. Uh, uh, two we got, interviews. We, well, we put Scott. up three. Uh, we put up Stephen Bonner, Ken Shamrock, Scott Coker. Still to come, we've got another Scott Coker. Mm -hmm. We've got King Mo, mm -hmm. Hoist Gracie, Randy Couture, Tito Ortiz, wow. Wow. Um, Dean Lister, and I know I'm forgetting one. Tito and Stephen Bonner are fighting in about a couple little weeks. over two weeks from now. Okay, yeah, couple they're weeks going. They were going to go head to head with UFC 180. Uh, <coughs> well, they still are. Uh, they were going to go head to head with Cain Velasquez's return against Fabricio Verdum, mm -hmm. but Velasquez got injured. Yeah, He's out. I heard about so that. So now it's Verdum. A lot of Mark injuries yeah. in UFC as of late, man. Uh, yeah. Man, it's killing them. It's killing them. It's, it's you know? fucking them up. And not only that, but let me tell you. I mean, you just named off, you know, seven, eight interviews that you guys have either had up or. It is so hard. And listen, I'll give you a fist bump. It is so hard. Have you ever done it? To transcribe an interview. I, I, I think I did one or two back in the it's day. It's a pain in the Yeah, pause, rewind. Dude, when yeah. you transcribe an interview, right? You do the interview, re, you record it. It's like when Boone uh, interviewed... Um, Shields, Jake Shields. Uh, Jake I had to Shields transcribe that. a couple of weeks yeah. ago, right? We had him on WZR TV. We record the show, we put the archive up. He's a good example. During the archive, the during the archive yeah, yeah. you've got to go back and you've got to start the interview from scratch. And then, as he's saying the words, you've got to write them out. So you've got to literally, stop, you got to write every word he says. Stop, yeah. pause. Stop, pause. Stop, Go pause, back. rewind. Stop, yeah. pause, rewind. <laughs> Go back and get it. And guys like Ken Shamrock, there you go, who are like, and um, and uh, and he goes on and on and on and on and on, yes. and you're doing the interview, right? And I, I think Moody was the one doing the interviews, but Michael you're, Moody, you're, yeah, you're transcribing, but you're like, dude, come on, bro, <laughs> come on. We want, we want good answers. From you, yes. But when you're trying to transcribe, it's like shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, man. a lot of people like to hear their own voice, and they will fucking yeah, ramble. Man. And the worst so far that I've written Shamrock. was Shamrock. Okay. Although Shields yeah. was hard too, because Shields, kind of like Tito Ortiz, who I haven't done yet, and I'm dreading it because it's like 13 minutes long. Right, right. right. And Shamrock was about 11. Right. So Tito's even longer. And Tito talks real fast. Yeah, like he talks like this, and then the next thing you know, and then blah, blah, blah. guys who talk real fast pay in the ass because if you it, like, let's just say the audio fucks up or somebody yells while you're asking your question or he's right. answering your question. Well, I was gonna ask you, you miss a word or two, and you got to rewind, and I'm and you'll hear me in here every once in a while going, and it's just out of the blue because you don't hear the other part because I usually wear the headphones to do it, so right, I can right. hear it right in my ears. But every once in a while, just out of the blue, it'll be dead silent, and you'll hear. What the fuck are you saying, man? What the fuck are you saying? Because I won't. I'll be like, what the fuck is he trying to? Say? I can't make. I, well, I was gonna say when you uh, when you transcribe the uh, Jake Shields interview. Yeah. Would you put as Jake was talking, a fire, no. a fire extinguisher went off in the building. No, no, I, didn't, I ignored the extinguisher. The sounds. Yeah, I don't write in parentheses. Sounds go off. Oh, if they laugh, terrible. we put in parentheses that blast. Was terrible. But uh, yeah. It was bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we didn't put the audio or the video uh, up. And I can say right yeah, now, yeah. if you look at this screen, it's bad. I don't like what I'm seeing. 
Yeah. Oh, we are skipping tonight, aren't we? I don't we? like what I'm seeing. You better keep an eye on that chat room and let us know if we're fucked up or not. Wow, we are. We are tonight. Is that what they're saying? Uh, I don't know, but I think we're it going could to just do, be uh, us. Wow, we're going to be bad. lagging. X out the uh, the Winamp and X out some things. Take out Skype. Take out Skype. No callers tonight. Uh, right. no callers. We we can go with that call. We've got hell in the cell. We can go with that. Oh, we'll be able to do it. Take out Skype before because it's only going to get worse. All right, there's literally nothing up more except things. the program we use right now. That's All right, it. it'll it'll come back around. So if we are uh, a little bit laggy tonight, uh, hopefully this comes back around. If we are laggy, hopefully we can get it fixed here. If not, we may have to take a uh, commercial break. We don't want to have to reboot the uh, the computer. He said the video is um, off a little, but the sound is great. That's Winter's Lair. You can trust him. There we go. Are we back? Yeah. Alright, there we go. Right, right there. Alright. So, alright, listen. So, uh, we're going to move on anyways. But uh, check out yes. MMANews.com for uh, yeah. interviews, uh, lots of transcripts and things like that coming up. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to take live phone calls. I'll tell you what, in hour number two, we when we try. come back, yeah. we'll try it again. We'll try to load Skype. That's what I was saying. We Skype can, uses can we a do lot a show? of resources. Can we do a show without Skype? Yeah. Absolutely. I can do a show without you. You can do a show without me. We can do a show all day long, especially right. when we got two weeks of shit to talk about. We right. can do a show for five hours right now. Right. I just didn't want to piss the fans off because they like to interact and call in and this and that. Right, so right, That's right. what I meant by that. We'll try it again when we come back in our numero dos. We'll keep it off for now, but we will uh, we'll load it up. Bit, and then, this computer uh, never gets used except for once a week That's now. it. You're using this I use one. this one now because yeah. this one's yeah. way better. Raj Geary bought you that, right? Yes, he did. Uh, WrestlingInc.com. Right. A free plug to somebody that we don't work with anymore. Right, right. <laughs> they have no hard feelings, but uh, he bought you that. No doubt. Great computer and uh, mine. Cool. I bought it at a pawn shop, and when I bought it, they told me it had viruses on it. Yeah, man. and a friend fixed it for me, and it turned more, out it was, more than virus. It was child <laughs> porn <laughs> for viruses. Well, that's what happens when you so walk when into I, a, when I bought when it. You walk it was into a piece a, of shit. When you walk into a pawn shop, I mean, yeah. and you buy computers out of a pawn shop, they're basically well, they won't, telling you before you buy it, "Hey, my, we don't." That's know your what perception. The fuck is on Honestly, it. they won't take. If you try and pawn something to a pawn shop and yeah. get money for it, I've never done it. I've, I haven't personally done it because right. I get too embarrassed. But there's right. plenty of items I've owned that I've given to my sister when we needed money when I was like trying to help her raise her kids and, right. and that. Uh, right. And I would say, you know, go pawn it. We'll get some money. You know, buy a bag of weed, whatever. But um, <laughs> but uh, they would go and pawn it for me. They would come back a lot of times with like high end shit, like an iPhone I had at one point. And they're right. like, they won't take it. I forget why because it wasn't a certain name brand or something. Oh really? Uh, and so a that computer, are strict, huh? they're very strict. Really? Or right. they'll offer you jack shit money, and you know you're fucked. Uh, but this computer, you know, if you buy a computer at a pawn shop, nine times out of ten, it's at least. Functionable, yeah. Which yeah, this yeah. was when I first bought it, but it lasted about three months, and oh, then it got to the point where when you would load Windows up, right? You know how it, when it loads up, there's a screen that pops up, mm -hmm. like there's the first screen, second screen, and then the Windows logo, right? And then you go to your desktop, it would just do that over and it over. It would do this, right. this Windows logo, right back to this, yeah, this yeah, Windows yeah. logo, well, right you know back to this. All you got to do is is format a computer. A lot of times, you can't, people, if you can't log on. To format, you can it. format any computer. There's nothing you can, if you can't get on your computer, which I couldn't do. It would oh, loop. It you, would loop. It doesn't matter when I you turn get on anything. With, to, in order to format F, a computer, do the boot options? Yes. Nothing. You should be able to load the boot options. Loot, it would loop right back when you hit the power button. Yes. And if you hit F8 or F11, whatever it blank is, blank screen. It should be able to it blank least. screen. Okay, then put a CD in. Well, put I the don't boot think disc a CD in. Drive on there. Put the boot disk in, and then yeah. it should load directly Actually, there is, from. It, work. Yeah. it should load directly from the CD drive. I don't. Know. I, don't have, I didn't have any stuff. CD. I bought it. Bought I've it. formatted so many computers. A black guy. You've got to delete. It. You've oh. got to delete the partition, oh. and then you've got to install. A black dude that I never met in my life. No matter what color he was, but I, okay. I, I was at I was at a hotel at the time. Okay. All right. So I would use the lobby computer. There was a computer in the lobby. That's how I was doing my fucking job. That's how I was making a living. But as I'm doing, I'd go there every morning because I'd get waking up at six, seven a.m. with the kids and shit. My sister's kids. I'd be in there working, and one morning it happened to be my birthday. My sister came in and July ninth. Correct. Boom. I'm telling you right now. You asked me your birthday. I can't do the same thing. August seventeenth. Sixteenth. Sixteenth. All right. Because my my, my, my brother close. Steven's right You're around close. there too. My brother Mike's right around there too. Pretty close. But anyways. Uh, but anyways, I'm in there working in the lobby, and my sister comes in and says, "I got a birthday present for you." And I said, "What?" Yeah. And she said, "You got to come here." And I said, well, "I'm Jamie. I'm trying to work." And she says, "It's about work." I said, "How could you have anything about work? I'm on my computer. My other computer doesn't work." Right. She said, "Would you just come here?" 
I followed his computer uh, to my room. She met this black dude that was at the hotel, and he's a computer fucking genius, genius. apparently, because I, I'm pretty good. You know, I couldn't fucking figure anything out with it. And next thing you know, I walk in, and it's sitting right there, plugged up, windows is loaded, which I hadn't seen in like eight months. Right. And he says, there yeah, man, I Good fixed you up. And then he asked right. me, he said, are you into little kids and shit now? Oh, Jesus, because he said, saw what? the stuff on there. He says, no, I'm fucking <laughs> with you, because he had saw the date, so he knew it wasn't me. That's funny. Because it was like three years prior or whatever, but he was like, yeah, I'm fucking with you, man. I saw, he All was right. like, you had a problem, there was some viruses on there from some wet I had to job. get him out, right, yeah, from yeah, the yeah. porn shop. All yeah. right, here we go. we got to move on, because we've got to get through uh, WWE Hell in the Cell and Monday Night Raw from last night. A lot of uh, new storylines, uh, advances last night on Monday Night Raw, Randy Orton, Obviously, going to be turning babyface sooner than later, so we're going to talk about that. Yeah. Kind of already did. Uh, Mark Henry turned back heel. Um, Page last night. Page, yeah, Turn AJ Lee, Fox. that whole thing. So we're going to get into Fox. it. Uh, we got to run down WWE Hell in a Cell from this past Sunday night and WWE Monday Night Raw from last night. Real quick, let me get the plugs out of the way, and then I'm going to tell you guys what's up with WZROnline.com and the Facebook post that I've made over the last couple of days or weeks. Uh, WZROnline.com, the official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. WZROnline.com, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZR Army. Go to YouTube.com slash WZR Archive. We're on Twitter as well. Just go to WZROnline.com, top navigation bar, drop down menu, yes. social media tab. Yes. It's got all the links to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. WZROnline.com, the official home of W. ZRTV to Now why don't you space. tell us about your website? Speaking yeah. of WZRonline.com hold on, hold on. And, and some of the posts that I've made. And I will ask Boone That's what I did that for the point. next yeah. uh, for the next couple of minutes I'm if you let would you, just yes. let me explain. The way you let me rant it, I'll let you rant. Go for just it. Just let me explain what's going on with WZRonline.com and why we haven't been here. Uh, or we've been here, you know. <coughs> two weeks ago, and then we've skipped a week, and we haven't been here, this, that, and the other thing. Um, well, it was computer back, problems a couple weeks ago. <coughs> there was two weeks, yeah. two different weeks, and there was two a separate weeks. issue with the dog one week, but the week we were supposed right. to come back, the dog was... Yeah. The dog, of the Daisy bit Reggie the, the one bowl, week, yeah, and yeah. there was computer problems the other week. So that had nothing to do with uh, but the reason Which is that why we I'm weren't on here. Now, but go ahead. Yeah, 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 the reason that we weren't here last week is, listen, I started this job, and, and to be honest with you, I've always been real with you guys, Boone, Boone as well. He's always been really, we come too on real. here, and uh, yeah. sometimes too real. And I'm going to be real with you right now. Uh, I started this, this is the second time I've done that. Uh, I started this job. Do God, I get props if you're going back to the beginning? I, well, yeah, we've already talked about it. I mean, okay. you brought me into this. <laughs> you brought me into this. Well, I'll, 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 you know, I'll, <coughs> I'll start it out with, with back, you know, 18, You all can thank me for him. About 18 years ago, I think, when I was about 15 years old, uh, coming home from high school, I started this job, and uh, it what, started 18 out... 18 years ago, bro? It was, I'm 34 was 98 now. 98 or 99, that would be... Well, I'm 34 15 now. or 16 years ago. Maybe 16 okay. years ago. I'm, I, I figured I started when I was 15 or 16, and I'm 34 now, so it's got to be... I know it was 98 or 99, because I didn't even have the internet until 98. And I back, remember working on 99, because Y2K. That's how I always remember. And back when I started this, man, I was out in Colorado. I was living with my To be with honest, father. you were doing work on the internet before me. Right, right. I was but doing you weren't a, a big guy that was making money. I was in the Juarez thing, the yes. hacking thing, you were, and everything. You weren't else. doing the I wrestling did, news stuff. To be honest with you, I was a I was a teenager. Yeah, I was yeah, into yeah. the Juarez. I was into the programs and the hacking, and I was part of a group. Exactly. That, and the other thing. Finally, I was a fan of pro wrestling. I LOL transitioned. Six. LOL Zix. Right. I, uh, I transitioned into pro wrestling, opened up a website, Boom gave me some URLs to report at, it was politics back in the day, and Still uh, is. this thing started out yeah. as, you know, I was making $200 a month, $500 a month, $600 a month, and I was out in Colorado at the time, and as the sites grew, as Boom gave me the opportunity to plug my websites at other big websites yeah. back uh, in the day, yeah. I was getting 
more and more traffic to my website. Fast forward and to today, what's going I would, on? With yours? I would I would get more advertising and things like that. And yeah. back in the day, advertising. Rates, I was just joking about you know, this in my ass. I just right, wondered, what's right. going on with your shit? But you would put a banner up <coughs> on your website, and per every one thousand hits, what they have is something called a a CPM, CPM. rate yes. um, for advertising or and CPC or CPA. CPC doesn't. CPM is what you prefer. CPM is what I prefer. Yeah. CPC is uh, you get paid per every click. Uh, and CPA wrestling fans is sign up, I believe, right? Right, right. Yeah. But wrestling fans simply don't click. You no. guys come to it's the, the wrong website, demographic. You all don't want to click the advertisements. No. You well, that and the, the advertisements are like for like Mountain Dew or you're fucking. You know, a thirteen-year-old doesn't give right. a shit about. Oh, right. get free fucking tax uh, done for you. You want to? You want to? Yeah. I want to. I want to do this. I know. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go but ahead. Uh, so so uh, nobody wants to click the advertisements. So basically. CPM CPM advertisements are per every 1,000 hits you get paid a certain amount. Back in the day, rate. it was about yeah. three dollars per CPM. Yeah. A rate would so be three dollars for every 1,000 hits you got. You got three dollars. So back in the day, yeah. you are making bank. I mean, you are just making crazy amounts. Fast forward to today. 2014, almost 2015. They called it the internet from, boom back in 01 from, and 0, uh, or 00 and 01. Mm -hmm. It was the internet bubble bursted because uh, everybody, it was brand new internet advertising. So everybody was throwing millions and millions right. of dollars right. into it. So everybody like us was getting fucking ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Yeah. And then yeah. when they realized that it didn't really help their business as much as they thought, just right. because it's, all right, we reached this many eyeballs, but it doesn't really convert to sales or this or that. Right. So. Right. So basically what has happened is you fast forward to 2014 and from three dollars per every 1,000 hits, we're down to about 15 cents for every 1,000 yeah. hits, which means in order to open a website, you need about 100,000 hits per day to make any sort of money. Good luck. So uh, basically over the past, you know, especially in the last couple of months, uh, advertising rates along with traffic. <laughs> Uh, in my traffic has tanked, and advertising rates as low as they are, traffic as low as they are. Sometimes you need to reevaluate: Are I using the right advertising companies? Are I doing something wrong as far as traffic is concerned? How can I get traffic up? How can I get advertising rates up? And you need to either number one, figure out basically a plan B. Yeah. What do I need to do if all else to, yeah. it, to get my advertising rates up so that I can make a full-time living off this job? Um, and, and granted, I'm still making very good money off we're here. here. Yeah. Uh, and we're here and we're far from broke, but <laughs> you need to oh, you need to look yeah. at the future as far as is this going to be a successful job and can I continue this? And basically... Can you continue to support like you I don't know. I'm an entire you got family. Turn, you've got no, like you're a, not. But I've your got sister a, and a bunch of kids. I've got an entire family that have to nothing to do with you. But you got to pay for all of and it. all the bills and everything yes. are on me here. So basically, what has happened Us, kind is, of, but mostly you. Yeah. you right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but over the last couple of weeks, I've kind of toyed around with advertising companies. I've been in contact with some new advertising have companies. Um, I am not. I'm actually going to work with USAToday.com, which I got an email for today advertising for advertising. Very cool, man. So that is That's kind of one. that is kind of a big deal. Yeah. Um, which really perked up my spirits. But to be honest <coughs> with you, and I'll look you dead in the camera, the shit is a little bit fucking depressing. Um, when when traffic is down, advertising rates are down, it's depressing, man. And there's times where Whoa. I've had, in the last couple of weeks, I've had some really bad fucking days, man. I can hear my voice now. I've, I've heard you. Really bad Your voice is more than crazy. A couple times that we've talked about it. I don't want to embarrass you on the air, but, but you've gotten really emotional about it. But there's even been times where he would find a way to get his traffic up, but because the ad rate, you know, the ad rates so aren't up. So it's like, it doesn't even matter if I work harder. It's not right. going to help. So it's like, there's literally nothing I can do short of finding a USA Today here or there. But how many of those are fucking laying around, you know, asking for wrestling? Advertisements. From what I've done in the last couple of weeks, uh, rates are going back up. I uh, am going to speak with somebody that you know of, uh, and uh, yes. and I'm going to speak with a couple of other people, and I'm going to make this fucking thing work, no I matter what, right. man. So, and not only that, but WZR TV. Don't worry about that. WZROnline.com. You're not going to see tons of pop-ups on WZR Online. I'm not going to do that to you guys. 
Um, it's it's not going to happen. Nope. Uh, we got money saved up. Everything's good to go. Just need to play around with things, and uh, we'll be good to go. So, yes. don't worry about it. We're going to be good to go, and uh, we're going to be here on a weekly basis. Now that's WZR. what you've been talking about on Facebook. That's the story. Yeah. So, WZROnline.com. Look at that. Slash chat. All right, here we go. By the way, Buffalo Bills, big win. Detroit Don't Lions, talk about amazing, oh, amazing win. Yeah, a great show. Boone and I okay. played in fantasy. I don't want to hear about I'll it, whoop man. your motherfucking ass, bro. I whooped that motherfucker. That was quiet. But you right? know what? Oh, you you had a good game. Bitch. You had a good game. I had a great game. You put up points. But I had Everything to fucking play the best team in the league this season. Woo! Ian Jonesy, I don't know if you're in the chat room tonight. I whooped your ass, too. Yeah, well, I'm WZR. Four in both leagues. I'm on a three-game winning streak yeah. in one league. I'm in a four-game winning streak on the other league. I'm killing it. Hell in WZR, itself. you did good in that league. I just want people to know because they're not in the league. So the people listening that are in the WZR league, oh, Clark didn't do that good. In Dan's league, the <laughs> motherfucker was a rock and roll legend. It was good. It was, it was vanity good, what he did. It was good. It was like fucking 200 points or something almost. So I'm good. over here 100 and something, whatever, which is a fucking great game, like better than like 90% of the other teams. Right, right. But it's not even close to this one, so I got my fucking ass <laughs> Hey, and one more thing before we get, or, I want to sell, let's load up the uh For the, the record, right we now. played twice this season in that league. I, I won him. I won the first game. Oh, you did. I you're won right, the first you're game. Right. We're 1-1. One last thing, uh, that whole rant that I just went on about WZROnline.com, I've had tweets, I've had, I've had Facebook messages and emails from all of you guys, I can't, I say it on Facebook, man, I love all you, I love all you guys like a family, man, yes, you guys you are all the best. Lot, so. and I make fun of them a lot for it. And he does, he makes fun of me, but I, You great fans. I love all you guys, man, you're awesome, and if it wasn't for the they diehard, were... loyal guys that are here every Tuesday night, I love you They've guys. They've actually so. been helping me out, too, with the, the interviews we talked about at the top of the show. Right. I would ask him, like, we need traffic on these. I'm like, yo, even if you're not interested, can you do me a favor and army up and just click the fucking and link anyway it. for and me, please? It, and they, they do, do it. it. They're awesome. In unison, like, all we've, together. We've, they, we've, at once, you would look at your... Because I got stat traffic. You there. never used to believe it back in the day. It's that insane. I used to tell you it's that insane. these guys are the most loyal, diehard fans where you see signs at television tapings. Uh, and one of the problems here is, yeah. we were talking about it earlier tonight, back in the day... WC, WCW Nitro oh, God. would draw a, a 5.0 rating, and, and yeah. or maybe not that high, but no, they've been w, higher w, than that. Yeah. WWE would draw a 6.0 Ooh. rating, 7.0 rating, and you would combine the two, and you would have like a 13.0, 14.0, even up to like 17.0. Not 17.0, but you would have 17 million viewers. Right, right. So you'd wrestling have like a, fans. You'd have like a wrestling six, fans 6.1 6. with a 5.3, which is like a 12.4, but if you factor in the Right. Households per point or whatever right. it comes out to like 16, 17 million. Views. There was a time and, and when wrestling would not only compete with football on Monday nights as far as viewership, right? They right, would right. win, and, and that's and when you're on the cover of TV back, guide. And you back would, in the you know. days, I remember the days of Raw doing 6.07, but then there's 7.0 ratings, yeah. right? And now the rating came out last night. Post pay per view show, and this is going to lead us into Hell in the yeah. Cell. But post pay per view show, Hell in the Cell. 2.7. I mean, back in the day, in the 90s, in the early 2000s, man, it was still a 5.0, 4.8, 4.7. I'll give it to you this way. When the Monday Coming Night War, when the Monday Night War was near its end, and WCW uh. was getting crushed, like WWE would do a 6.2, and WCW would do like a 2.8. And that was considered terrible yeah. for those 2.8. What did I just say? 2.8? 2.8. What was WWE last number? can't draw that right at 2.7. Thank you. 2.7 last that's night, That's how fucking man. bad it's getting. And that's why when, when people on Facebook who are, they're real young. Yeah. Or they're just so brainwashed by the last 10 years of shit. That's all they've known. When that's they talk they about, when, when, I'll, when I'll be like, God, this sucks. And they'll be like, are you crazy? This is fucking awesome. But that's all I'm like, are you, you crazy? They didn't see the attitude no. era. And they haven't gone back and watched tapes of what happened. Or even if they the watch day. tapes, it's not the same as being there live and getting that, <gasps> oh shit, look at this. Right. Like we right. had one of those moments recently when The Rock came back with Rusev. Like out of the fucking blue. Right. Every week, Raw would have at least two things that would just Something out of the blue happen huge, and you'd be like, man. Whoa, look at this shit and people would flock to yeah. the internet. Not even happened. so much a return from somebody who's been gone a long time, but like an angle or something would happen to where at least right. two times and it was only two hours, not three. Two times, like one an hour. You'd have at least one time per hour where you'd go, Oh fuck, look at that yeah. Yeah. You know. Back in the day. Happen so, anymore. 
Listen, thank you guys for the Facebook. Kind of did tweets, during Hell in a Cell, which we're getting into. The emails and everything else. I really appreciate those, mm-hmm. man. They mean a lot to me. Uh, Rygout, you know, you've been a long time fan. That email you sent the other That's day, man. Dude. I know we've had some ups and downs here and there, but I love you, brother. And uh, that, that meant a lot to you. He's the dude who took the a picture day, with Dixie, so. right? Yes, yeah. with the uh, WZR. And a, all, you guys, badass, man. all you guys in the chat room, people that come through and take the time to send emails, send tweets and Facebook. Buy t-shirts, wow. all that shit. Wow, I love you guys, man. So, speaking of the chat room, WZROnline.com. Oh, look at that, girl. Slash chat, WZROnline.com. Oh, I gotta do it again, motherfucker.com. <laughs> slash chat, WZROnline.com. Slash chat, get in there. Lots and lots of people in there, as always, tonight. All right. All right, here we go. WWE, Hell in a Cell from this past Sunday night. What you think of the pay-per-view top five? You asked me this before the show, and I never I remember. Wait, wait. Through it, I remember though. I remember okay, though. Think about think about Ambrose and Rollins. Awesome, good match, really good match. It was the damn finish. Good. The finish was in. Eh, finish was a fucking finish, but it was still but awesome. It yeah. was done for a reason. I actually liked the finish. And I did too. That I did too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cena Orton, yeah, pretty Cena fucking Orton. good match. Dude. Pretty fucking good. Pr- very, very match good. of the night. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, the Rollins and Ambrose will get the praise, you know but that was like a half version of what they were trying to do, which was the fully. Or even the Shawn Michaels and Undertaker. You're going to call me crazy? Yeah. And and every week we come on here and we shit all over the Divas. Brie Bell and Nikki Bella for in-ring work. It was pretty fucking good. I know you read my play-by-play, was... play, so you know I thought it was good. I was putting it over the... Well, maybe you don't read it, you just... Right, but yeah, right. It was uh, it was pretty good. So we'll get into. And so it was fucking every, pretty much every match yeah. was good. Everything was pretty good, good or right? Great. Yeah, there wasn't too much shit on the show. Uh, I thought Cena Orton was amazing. Let's really, uh, I let's I get really into it. Man. We had and you uh, better fucking yes. cop clean and be honest when we get to Ambrose and Rollins and talk about what me and you were arguing about. What was gonna happen or what wasn't gonna happen? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> Because I'm sure you were battling in your chat. You have a live uh, chat during pay-per-views. Shit. I'm sure you were battling. I didn't. I don't do a live chat. No. I do it during Raw. But anyway. You do a pay-per-view chat with the audio. Get out of here. They went off the cage, man. With the audio. They went off the cage. I don't. I, I do the audio, but I don't do it. Oh, you don't chat. It's too busy. Okay. With okay. All right, uh, here we go. So we kicked it off. Uh, the pay-per-view started. We had the pre-show. They had uh, yeah, a couple uh, of things it there. It was the Miz Dow segment. Miz Dow, that was... Damien Sandow yeah, and the Miz uh, and Miz Dow, you know. It was right, right. Sandow it was, it was for comedy. Mimicking all his stuff. We kicked off the pay-per-view. There was a match, too. Who the fuck was the match? I can't remember, man. I can't remember. I can't I, either. I, it was a big show. Henry, no, somebody, somebody Henry, along I those think. lines. I don't know, man. Somebody along those lines. But anyways, they kicked off the pay-per-view with Dolph Ziggler against Cesaro. I think it was Mark Henry and Bo Dallas. I want to say Bo Dallas. Okay. I want to say Bo Dallas. I was going to mention that, but then didn't. It was Henry and Bo Dallas, and Henry won with ease, but Dallas like got on the mic and said he cheated. Right. So it doesn't count. He's 4-0 against Henry. And that's not what happened on Raw. So the fact that you're remembering that probably happened. I think that. Anyways, we had uh, Dolph Ziggler and Cesaro. A two out of three falls match for the IC title. Basically, what's been happening on Raw and SmackDown, or SmackDown, mostly SmackDown over the last couple of weeks, is they've been having matches. And... You all right, buddy? Yeah, it's <laughs> um, basically, what's been happening is Ziggler's won, Cesaro's won, Maybe you know, back and Even forth. Stephen Booking. So, yeah. we go into Hell in a Cell, and we're going to have a two out of three falls match, even though we've seen this a couple of times prior to the paper. It was pointless to do two out of three falls. You know what I liked about this? Yeah. You know what I liked about this? All right. Dolph Ziggler wins the first fall. And normally, the booking is always whoever wins the first fall is going to lose the second fall. That's the point. And then the yeah. third fall is up in the air. I like the fact that Dolph Ziggler won the first fall, and then we get the second fall. Dolph Ziggler won. It's over. It's done. I like it. Now, I, I didn't. With that being said, with that being said, yeah. Dolph Ziggler, I think, needs to be pushed. Much higher than I think he, is. he is. Last night on Raw, they really followed it up. Dude, Cesaro, dude, if you met, I was gonna say, Cesaro, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Cesaro, I think needs to be pushed oh, way Cesaro. more than what he My is. My God, yes. I think yeah, even Cesaro Steve tweeted that out after. Uh, yeah. I think Cesaro's comments recently, where he said, "I am so sick and tired of seeing." Was it Ziggler or Cesaro? Ziggler was talking about not getting mic time. No, and Cesaro said, "I am so sick of seeing John Cena against." Orton. Somebody time and time again. 
And I feel like that is going to do him no favors. Sometimes you may feel the way you do, but in media interviews, you've got to hold back. Because if you say things like that, and WWE hears Ziggler's it. Ziggler's proof. Uh, he's just now You've starting automatically to get a chance. Got heat. Yeah. You've automatically got heat. And I think it was Cesaro's that, that said that. Know. But why didn't you like the fact I that I didn't like Ziggler it because, won. first of all, you liked it because it was two straight falls out of it. No, so it was cool. different from what we're that's used to. That's not that different, though. If you look, it is. If you look go Google the history because I did it for a column. I was going to write. I never. What did. do you guys think in the chat? Well, he's. Well, he's I never did the column, but I went to because I was going to write about it, and then I, I heard a radio show, and they had said WWE does this a lot. Vince likes the idea of booking two out of three falls, and then supposedly surprising people by having somebody win both falls in a row. If you go look through the it history, was a surprise. They've done me. it more often than not. Really? So, like, more often than not, that's the way WWE handles two out of three falls. What makes hmm. you think? And the reason I didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Do you remember how Ziggler got the first fall? I don't. Cesaro teases Cesaro's swing. Ziggler got out of it. Next thing you know, boom! Cesaro's got it. Cesaro swing, swing, swing. They brought swing. back the swing. As soon right. as he let him go, like some two seconds later, Ziggler rolls Cesaro up without doing anything. Oh, really? So Ziggler pins Cesaro after getting hit with an offensive move by Cesaro. Right. So well, he's he's like, well, that doesn't make any he's sense. Supposed to be dizzy, and I can't. I don't know where I am. Dizzy, or at least selling the fact quick. that he just got right. hit with a move, especially right. somebody's main move, and then he's the one pinning Cesaro. Does that doesn't that, make any fucking does sense. Does that show you how far down on Cesaro they are these days? I don't that know. They, they a lot of times they even, put their own matches together though, so maybe that was their idea. Like, yo, they won't see this coming, so it'll get a big pop. Maybe. A lot of guys only think about the pop when it comes to the performers. They only think about, like, yo, what? Like, they're expecting this. Let's give them that. Yeah. And they'll yeah. go, wah! Right. But does it make sense, and is it smart booking? I, I think, I mean, Cesaro, we all know Cesaro's a great worker, uh, and we know Dolph Ziggler should be put. Both of these guys should be pushed. Obviously, you can't have both of them win. Uh, one match. When they're, they're against the same each match. other, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you can't have both of them win, but the fact is... They jobbed out Cesaro, and then again last night on Raw. So Cesaro, what has he done to piss off management? They they had him with Heyman, uh, took him off Heyman. Heyman's gone, and then ever since then he's been a complete jobber. They, they should have never television. put him with Heyman in the first so, place. That swing had him. But I think a, I, 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 if you go back to the real Americans, Cesaro <laughs> Jack Swagger, they were a heel tag team. Cesaro. Within that unit was getting over like Rover, yeah, absolutely. like a baby face. Absolutely. They break him up. Swagger goes face. Right. Cesaro goes heel with Heyman, which right. at first you're like, oh, he's with Heyman, great, awesome. But the awesome. whole time it was Cesaro standing there while Heyman put over Lesnar, and then oh, yeah. by the way, Cesaro. By the way, Cesaro's over here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was. It didn't do him but any then, favors. Then so wait a minute. Being with Heyman so didn't help him anything. They dropped. And now they're just fucking burying they dropped him. Heyman. But then you've got to understand. I mean, listen. You and I, yeah. and all you guys listening, we're so sick of Cena versus Orton over and over. All of us I are. I like the match. You but are. The, the idea of their angle. All of us are. Yeah, but you know what? Them. If we're a WWE employee, if we're Cesaro, we're thinking that in our head. But if you come out and you say that on a media interview, and WWE sees it, they're going to they're gonna chop them out, man. Put it this way. Maybe they don't fuck with you, but they're not going to help. Put it this way. Nothing good can come We're all thinking. We're all nothing, nothing good can come good from talking can, bad about the booking. The booking and John Cena. The head guy yeah. in WWE. Any of them, even Orton. Because Orton like, throws fists and you shit. May be, so. you, may, you may think that. We all, we all think that, man. But if you're a WWE and you're doing media... Sometimes, Be like you the gotta, sometimes you gotta you gotta hold it in, man. You know who the best two guys in WWE are at media right now? The Miz, AJ Lee, Cody Rhodes. AJ Lee's been doing AJ a Lee. Lot of media. No, 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 not who does the most. Who like gives like if you're a WWE executive and you're watching these interviews, right? Who are the two when you watch? You're like, man, that motherfucker is kissing our ass, making us look. Oh like yeah, 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 as far as kissing ass, right? right. You got Cody Rhodes. Absolutely. You got the Miz. They right. speak WWE language. You know what? Uh, Damian Sandow did an interview <laughs> recently too, and Steve he's good. completely in character. He's good at staying in character, but he was exactly. in character yes. doing the interview. That's and, what he's uh, good at. He's yeah, good at staying yeah. in character. Like even if like it's with Sam yeah. Roberts, he'll right. give him. 
because he respects him. And he Sam knows, Roberts is He'll awesome, give him like the but, halfway. Like, yeah, you know, I'll right. answer your questions, but I'll bring it right back to this character <laughs> exactly. every fucking time. You know? Well, and Sam Roberts is the type of guy that's, you know, I'm going to ask the hard-hitting questions and... Don't or at least me. try to get you to come I'm out of big, your character. Yeah. I'm a big fucking nerd, but don't dodge me. I'm going to try to get you yeah. to Hope come out of your character. Yeah. Right. All right, so what else? Let's move on here real quick, man, because I want to get through uh, yeah, no, myself and a little bit of Raw. We had Nikki Bell against We are Bella. late. So we could go five minutes over <coughs> an hour. We've, uh, you know what? SmackDown's being taped in uh, Texas tonight, yeah. too, so we're on a two-hour delay tonight with spoilers and everything else. Might go a little bit long for you guys tonight. I'm down. <clears throat> um, I am fucking hungry, though. The, uh, well, I'm going to try to grab a quick I might bite do that to eat. in the commercial. Um, we had uh, the authority is backstage, right? Orton wants to find Seth Rollins and yeah. uh, tell him Basically to Basically tells hell. the authority either, I, tell me where Rollins is. And they don't want to. No, no, no. Either you talk to that motherfucker or I will, blah, blah, blah. Stephanie pulls right. him aside. Why don't you use that anger against Cena in your match tonight? Orton says, and I get agree. yourself the next shot at Lesnar. I'll do that. Orton, you know, yeah, he used, Orton's he's playing ball. Orton, over the last couple of weeks, he's, he's, he's frustrated. Here it is. He's, he's begrudgingly frustrated. playing ball. Yes, exact. Absolutely. He's I like that. He's begrudgingly playing ball. Absolutely. He doesn't like it. He doesn't, he doesn't agree like with it. it. But, but he'll do it. With it. Yeah. And that's what exactly. happened last night when we get into Raw until we RKO. Well, no, it didn't happen at all last night. Well, yeah. no, I, I mean, he came out. Straight out of the gate. He was pissed. Yeah. His promo last night. I don't guess he got an anger problem. Anger management, two thousand six. I got, it. Yeah. I got, it. I got it. that promo. Was For crazy. real, he says. I know that the anger yeah. issues back in the day. It's are a we, real deal. I think we're fucked up again, man. Oh man, we are. I'm sure, keep it on that chat. Hmm. Hmm. There's nothing left to close, by the way. There's nothing left, huh? Well, no, we've this, really got this nothing is left. It. That's the only program open right now. It's only going to get worse as we go on. I know, and they're about five minutes behind, so we won't know what they're seeing really? right now until, yeah. And I keep a corner of my... Oh, oh wait, man. now it looks like we're good. Yeah, we're getting better. Yeah. Mm. No, we're getting better. There's nothing we Watch. can X out? You know what we'll, we'll do? We'll bad. hit the control alt delete before we go to the okay. uh, the break. Anyways, uh, you know what, a lot of guys know. probably just listen to the audio. They probably minimize the browser. Yeah, who stares at our faces? Who wants to watch us? Out, right? We're too not ugly who talks. wants to talk to us. But if, if it's I'm a if it's a show where there's nothing physical happening other than our lips moving, who is sitting there staring at the screen and just watching us talk? <laughs> they probably well, the one guy sent us a photo and he had us yeah, on yeah, big screen true. TV. Some do, but I'm sure most people probably minimize the browser and just listen to the audio. All right. Anyways, I think it's gonna get worse as we go on, but it's we're still gonna to. be here. It's not gonna at get least, better. At least it? the audio is gonna be with you guys. Knock on wood. The, uh, yeah. the we may be a little bit off. We'll try to fix the computer. But anyways, right before. after that order anyways, uh, segment, yes. I want to sell. We go into what? We go into Nikki Bella against Briella, Brie Bella. Basically, the loser of the match has to become the winner's bitch Personal for assistant. a month. Yeah. Personal assistant, for thirty days. winner's bitch. Yeah. Um. So immediately after the match, which was a really Good match, by the way. Wouldn't say really for, good, for a but divas it was match, good. it was, it was pretty fucking good. It was pretty for a uh, yeah. for a divas match. Uh, for a divas match, um, any match, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was a clean finish. Um, Nikki uh, okay. hit a. Yeah. I think she calls it a rack attack. The rack attack, where yeah, it's like the it's like it's like putting you up for the uh, I guess it was the torture rack for Lex Luger. Okay, and instead of just stretching you, she drops to her knees. Okay. And it's supposed to like break your back once she drops to her knees. Gotcha. Yeah. So minimize that thing that we That'll have. help you think. Any little thing. Less Any little resources. Thing. Okay. What that do you makes sense. Do? And then hit the uh, hit the control to see. There is no control. Um, like he, oh, keyboard don't right. work. All right. Yeah. Go to start. Real quick. Go to start. Type in in the search bar task manager. I can try. Oh, I'm sorry. There's not enough keys here. Man. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. My bad, dude. All right, we moved on. We had uh, gold dust yeah, and TST. All right. Don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, we'll figure it out during the break. My bad. Uh, we had gold dust and stardust against the Usos for the WWE tag team titles. I gotta say, man. I mean, gold dust and stardust. They've been on a roll as of late. WWE's pushing it. I thought there was a chance that the Usos. They win the titles here. There were no title changes on this show at all. I'm trying to think. Were Nothing. There, oh, there weren't that many Nothing. title matches. There was this and the U.S. title. Yeah, you're right. And the Intercontinental you. title, uh, two out of three falls. What did you and think the Davis title, A.J. Lee. Yeah, what yeah, did you yeah, think you know out of nowhere, all of a sudden, the winner of Cena Orton goes on to face Brock Lesnar? That came out of nowhere. Well, see, we didn't do we didn't do predictions for this, which we normally do, and thank God. Right. Because I would have probably got my ass kicked. 
But I was predicting Orton to win because he's turning face. It's a fresh face for Lesnar when mm-hmm. he finally you know comes back. Heel Lesnar face Orton, fresh face. Because you can't do Cena Lesnar three times, but I guess you can. I it's guess you can, exactly right? Exactly what they're doing. But where did that My come from? My point is, real, Paul quick, real quick, before Ashley we get off this, real quick, I just want to bring this up. All right. John Cena Brock Lesnar is happening again for a third time. Cena not only guaranteed on Raw he's not losing, he guaranteed he's winning the title, this and that. He didn't say nothing about it. Not only, he didn't, like, before the last fight they had, I don't want to beat you, I want to beat your ass. Right. This time he says, I guarantee, I promise all of you. Not only am I not losing, I'm taking that title. I'm I will winning. Say, I'll come on here right now, and I will How say... How does Cena lose you know three what? times? You know what? I was wrong. I was wrong as far as Brock yeah. Lesnar. Um, I had said that there is no way that he is not going to work house shows, that he is not going to be on pay-per-views. There is no way going into 2015... I, I, For those I, who are watching video... I did, I did say WrestleMania uh, 32... Uh, which, or 31, 31 is coming up. WrestleMania yeah. 31. I did say WrestleMania, but the fact that he's probably not going to be around until Rumble. Rumble. Yeah. I'm shocked, and I was. I'm wrong. I mean, that's only. Uh, it's not even two months. It's uh like two days. But from we now, haven't December. seen him. We haven't or seen November, him sorry. since. Night Actually, no, that's two months. Yeah, November, December, January. So he's not working house shows. There's no WWE champion on our television. I like that. There's no WWE champion. I like I'm that. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. You know why I like that? You know why? I think I do. Go ahead. Because all the focus is being put on guys like Dean Ambrose. That's and Seth a... Rollins, um, and people like that where the title really doesn't need to be there now okay. as... Rollins and Ambrose. That's are. a nice bonus, and that's and you're absolutely right. If there's two reasons why it's great, all right. Here's, that's the, here's the reason. Two. Here's the number reason one why. Is, here's the reason why, because when Brock Lesnar does return, you're already on the right the track. WWE the WWE title. The, does. the WWE title, when it is defended, means does mean something. Thank you. It means something. The end. And and the end. Month after month, we you got see it. the WWE title. You decoded defended, the puzzle. You got it. Defended. Yes. Defended. Defended. We haven't seen the WWE. This is how it was back when I was a kid. In months. Back when I was a kid, first of all, TV was squash matches. You'd get one name against a guy you've never fucking seen or heard of in your life. Right. He'd kick his ass. He'd get to do all his moves. Make basically the idea was to make the jobber would make the name look good. Mm-hmm. He never got any offense. You know, if he did it was a couple punches just to fucking kill time. Mm-hmm. It, his his job was to make this guy look as good as he could. They mm-hmm. called him enhancement talents in WWE. Right, specifically. Right. Job guys is what they were known as right. in, the, in the industry. But, um, yeah, so that was TV. And then B, as far as the world title, the WWE Championship, or even in WWE, the NWA Championship, or the, you know, came WWE Championship, mm-hmm. that was defended maybe once a month on pay-per-views. Right. Not counting house shows, because they would tour with it. That's how they would sell tickets locally without TV. Right. On house shows. But right. as far as, as, far as television, right. which, you know, if you're not going to the events and buying tickets, that's all you see is TV. Mm-hmm. As far as that's concerned, this, the amount of times you saw a title match on TV, fucking forget about it. Forget Pay-per-view, about it. Right. You would see it, but you know what I mean. Think about when Lesnar returns. Pay per views were also four times a year, not every month. Back true, then. true. And they're going to so build it was very up. rare, and that's why the title meant when a title change happened back then compared to now. It means so it much meant more. You only so get four more. chances a year for right, somebody to win the right. title because it's only defended on the pay per views. As far as absolutely, it's not going to change hands at a house show. And and think about when Lesnar returns and he defends the title for the first time. The whole oh wow! Is finally, for the first time yeah. in three or four months, Brock Lesnar's defending the WWE title. Something like that. Although I think I, mean? I think he may overshadow the title itself because yeah. it's like now we're yeah. seeing Lesnar. It's not now we're seeing the title. Right. You right. know, so he doesn't even need the title to do what he's doing. But it, I think it it helps it. Absolutely. Uh, get to our live chat room wzronline.com slash chat wzronline.com slash chat. All right, we had Goldust and Stardust. They retained. They retained yeah. uh, here for the titles. We had John Cena and Randy Orton. I love this match. And I gotta say, man, going into the pay per view, we didn't know who was gonna main event Hell in the Cell. Yeah, I, I actually, thought if you would have, if that if been you were to ask me going in, it, smart money. Cena Orton. Cena Orton. If Two, you would because they got names, the match. Well, not. Not even the bigger names. The winner of that match is the next challenger for Brock Lesnar for in the Brock world title, which we barely ever too. see. That's two. What does the winner of Ambrose and Rollins get? 
Money in, the match. Bank, money in the Bank guy comes out of the match. Yeah, the the winner wins anything. the match. There is no, like, not in the briefcase was on the line. It was nothing. Let me ask you something. So uh, if you were, if we would have included that in our predictions, I'd have been wrong on that one, too. Who do you think... Although I would have said they should have done it. Who do you think Rollins. is better? Seth Rollins or Dean Ambrose? In what way? In... Overall package? The entire packet. Wrestling... In, that's in, tough, man. In, from, I think Ambrose. That's, I think Ambrose. That's really tough. I, first of all, Rollins is a better worker. You think so? Without question. Okay. All right. Ambrose is an edgier, maybe even sometimes more fun. No, nah, you know what? I, I don't know, man. Rollins is just as fucking crazy when it comes to like, I gotta taking say, chances. And clearly, clearly, they've aligned Rollins with the authority, and Rollins is their guy. I mean, he's yes. the guy that they are trying to well, make the, into The standard bearer. Star. The future. What was all those key words they were using? Right, right, right. You right. can tell it's not a guy saying his own words. Yes. The standard bearer. The future. They, the fucking. They some have, thirty eighteen year old wrote this and, for me. And, and, and maybe yeah. they've chosen Rollins over Ambrose as you know how they act backstage when they're not on top. I don't know. No, but I feel like Ambrose. Should be the guy. Here it is. Ambrose he should be the heel. He should be in the authority. Yeah, there you go. Ambrose. Should be different over story. Rollins. I think, different story. I think if Ambrose, Ambrose is a heel, yeah, it might be. Who do we go with, Ambrose or Rollins? Because they decided, and this already happened. They if you're decided. Asking, months if you're ago. asking when they broke the shield up, yeah. who should they have gone a heel with with the authority? Ambrose. Ambrose. Yes. Especially then, because yes. we didn't know Rollins could do all that he's doing right now. We didn't know that yet. Maybe you know I mean? Rollins is more of a company guy than Ambrose. No, I don't know, man. Fuck no. I don't know, man. If you watch this documentary on the Shield from it was called Journey to SummerSlam. Yeah, Rollins is a prick. Is he to management? See, I would think even without Ambr- I himself. would think Ambrose is a prick to management. I'm no? sure he's a rebel. But yeah, Rollins is more of a, like a Shawn Michaels when he was a cocky asshole kind of a guy. But I've heard audio interviews with Ambrose, and Ambrose comes across he's a rebel. As kind of a douche. He's like a, a douche. Uh, kind of a dickhead. A dickhead's different than a douche, by the uh, way. Uh, dickhead's a mean guy. A douche is like a fucking... This guy's a fucking weirdo. Like. This guy's a douche like a dickhead. No, a douche and dickhead's two different things, man. They are? I'm a dickhead. Because I can be a brother. You're also blatant. a douchebag. I'm not... Well, you, people might think of that. But a You're douchebag is somebody who... a dickhead. I mean, no, when, when I say, yo, you are such a douchebag, man. No, no, no. A douchebag is somebody that's like, like corny what? and cheesy. Corny and cheesy is douchebag. A okay. dickhead is an asshole, a prick, like that kind of a thing. I don't look at it like that. If I, I say, if I say, yeah, you're a fucking douchebag, or I say, yeah, you're a dickhead, it's the same thing. You're a well, it douche. depends on how you use the words, but that's that's mm. pretty much how they're Anyways, supposed to be used. But if it was up to me, yeah. I would have said Ambrose. Good job on the chair, by the way. You're uh, always fucking stupid. Is that the wrong one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I were to pick, I would have said Ambrose is going to be... You all, we, we have three chairs. You always get the good one. I tried to get... And it's a lot of accidents. I, 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 I know you, you gave me your chair. This is your sport, chair. Uh, this look, is your chair. Look, you said here, so you don't have to squeak. Listen, if it was me, I would have gone with Ambrose back in the day and and just said as that... As far as turning heel and lining with authority? Yeah. Me too, Ambrose of course. Is gonna be, like Seth He's Rollins, the obvious heel. Seth Rollins is the guy can right I tell now. You why that that was, got, can I why? tell you why both of us are wrong? Because I would have done the same thing as you did. But they went the other way. Why? Why? And I know we're short on time. Rollins is the one guy, if he's a face... Mm-hmm. <sighs> How's he going to get over? You're right. He's not going to get how's over. He getting, how's That's he going to be a main team. player right. without right. the shield as a unit by himself, without the heel where you can color outside the You're line right. kind of personality? You're right. you got to be You're the right. good You're guy, right. and I'm going to get you. He can't. Reigns can't because his look. Right. Ambrose right. can't because he can talk. Right. Rollins, as we found out, can talk, so maybe he could have pulled right. it off, but we didn't know it then. Right. So that's why I say, you know what I mean, now... It's hard to say, but back then, I would have easily gone with Ambrose just like you did. Right. So now uh, it's a tougher decision. So Rollins after, has proved himself. He's a fucking player. After the match with uh, Cena and Orton going back to Cena. I didn't sell out. I bought in. <laughs> you bought in. I bought in to <laughs> Seth Rollins. And I did buy in to Seth Rollins. That motherfucker's hey, good. listen. After the match with uh, going back to uh, Orton you know, and the match Cena. at, yeah, at yeah. hand here, uh, Cena and Orton, um, really good match between these two. The fucking first amazing. Hell in the Cell match. They were awesome. And not only that, but... I think they've Cena, had one before, Orton won. Cena and Rollins. Last night yeah. at Raw, another awesome match. Say what you guys Cena want. Cena Rollins? 
Oh, uh, wrong? wrong? It yeah. was amazing. It was a shitty finish. Say what you guys want about John Cena, but the guy continues to come out week after week. After that was week. a lot of Rollins last night, man. Uh, listen, a lot of people yeah. carry John Cena in those matches. It's he does his part. Cena, but he does his part. Okay, and he, he does puts his part. On, he puts on really good matches. Now, granted, like Boone said, the matches that he's in, uh, the other guys, like I didn't Cesaro say that. or He does his part. He does his part, but the other guys... Put it this way, he can have a good match with damn near anybody. Not a shitty worker that he's got to carry, because I don't think he's that good that he can carry someone to a good match. Right. But WWE's all pretty much good workers these days. Right. So he can have a good match with anybody, but the right guys, not only can they have a good match, they can carry him to a great match. Absolutely. And that's what happened on Raw. All right, it's 9 o'clock Eastern time. Listen, Big Show backstage, we're going to do three matches. Who won between Cena and Orton? Uh, John Cena did, and say, John Cena after the match. Yeah. After the match was over, uh, John Cena grilled Paul Heyman, who was on was part the, of the kickoff show. Kickoff show. Yeah. We're gonna do three matches. We're gonna go to a commercial break, okay. and we're gonna do them oh, in less than a minute. This next one sucks. In less than a minute. We had you ready? That was so awesome. I Big Show. St- All right, go oh, ahead. Man. Big Show told Mark Henry yeah, that uh, he's gonna beat Rusev tonight, and he's gonna beat him for him. Beat him for you, knock him beat out. him for everybody, for country, America, yeah. this, that, and the other thing. All right, here we go. Sheamus and The Miz, this is the one we'll spend. I can spend my whole three seconds. minutes on this right here. Tell me about Sheamus and The Miz. I'll tell you right now, Damien Sand, I'm a fucking certified gangster. He is awesome. <laughs> He's so fucking funny, bro. I swear to God, when I watch those, good. it's Miz. And Sheamus, U.S. title. You understand out. that he's being jobbed out in this role. Then. Not jobbed out, but he's, he's being, being treated as a second-class citizen. He's being treated he's as Mrs. a jobber. Help guy. He's Tonight, um, basically, we know we're having a problem with the stream. Boone and I just talked about it during the uh, break as I pounded a cheeseburger and cheesy potatoes. Oh, so good. But anyways, um... We are going to switch computers next week. I told them that we need to test it, um... And then next week before we come on, but I think the computer that Boone uses on a daily basis um, is is going to be much better as far as stream is concerned and everything else. So I think we're going to switch it up as long as we can do a test run throughout uh, the next week before we're here next Tuesday night. Speaking of next Tuesday night, I am not sure that we are going to be here next Tuesday night, and it has nothing to no. do with what I talked Maybe about the Pepsi. earlier. Um, <coughs> we may union. be at the Times Union Center next Tuesday night. How long has it been the Times Union? How many years? Um, How way off am I? I would say about five to ten years now. <laughs> Fuck, all right. Five, five to ten. I thought it was like a year or two ago. Okay. I swear, with football, basketball, anything but, uh, you ask me, I'm like stuck in 98 or 99. So, why would we be at the Times Union Center next Tuesday? Tuesday oh, I'll night. I'll tell you right now, ladies. Monday Night Raw. Albany! That's right, Albany! <laughs> WWE is coming to your town. This way at the Times Union Center, we'll have Dean Ambrose, John Cena, and all your favorites. Blah, blah, blah. We get that commercial. Later. In the main event, we'll have Dean Ambrose against... Randy Orton. Randy Orton. Is, that's what they're right. advertising. Yeah, but... So, uh, next Tuesday night, WWE SmackDown is being taped That's live. the commercial we get for, like, the past... Three for months, weeks, two months, for yeah. weeks. But WWE SmackDown is going to be here, right here, in Albany, New York. So Boone and I are thinking about possibly yeah. heading down there. Now, if that happens, um, we're not going to be here because we don't have anybody that can produce us and put us on air with the I'm video. Like well, something. with the not video, video and everything yeah. else. But um, like when we, we were in Vegas, the work we did shows something. from the hotel for Vegas. But it was audio. I mean. Right. But uh, WWE SmackDown is going to be here next Tuesday night in Albany, New York. So if we do decide to go down to the show and do, you know, just check it out, basically. Yeah. Come home and do the play-by-play and everything else. Um, we're not going to be here. I will keep you guys posted on uh, on my Facebook page. I know Raw's in Buffalo. Hopefully, uh, what, Dean from Buffalo. Dean from Buffalo is always a guy that emails me. Every week. he's such a good guy, man. Every time WWE is in Buffalo, you have fans. those you have those certain people that are in certain cities, and every time they come to Buffalo, you got your reliable yeah, correspondent. Every time yeah. they come to Buffalo, New York, a guy named Dean. I don't know if he's listening tonight, but it's not Dino UK, obviously. But a or guy Ambrose. named yeah. a guy named uh, you know Dean from uh, from Buffalo sends us an email. He's an awesome you guy. Got Dean Kane, uh, Superman. Dean Kane, yeah. 
Um, Maybe you but got Superman hooking you up. So we're probably gonna have. Uh, so we'll, we'll definitely have some uh, some results for my uh, next Monday's raw post post air stuff. I'm and, still uh, trying to think of other deans. Yeah, post air stuff. Yeah. Right, Dean uh, Tory Spelling's husband. They've got the reality show McDermott. That's Dylan McDermott. No, Dean McDermott. I've heard of Dylan McDermott. I don't know who Dean McDermott. Maybe it's is. his brother. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. They've got a reality show together. Oh, Tori Spelling. How about Mama Hi. June? Heard about Mama Honey in the BB or whatever. Honey in the Boo Boo. Boo yeah. Honey the Boo Boo. I've heard of it. I don't With know the child I've never monster? seen the show. Yeah, her late the the kid's latest stepdad raped her. How about that thing in Hawaii with the lava? The lava exploding. I have no idea what that is. Yeah. You follow no national news. Whatsoever. I don't care. You Why should do I care? care? Because it's does it affect important. my day to day life? Ebola. You know Ebola what I know about, yeah, because yeah. Saturday Live and Howard Stern. Ebola is being so. Yeah, that's like the new age, right? It's being so overblown. Yeah. The only way you can or catch lupus. Or the something. only way you can catch Ebola is Another if you are lupus. like like somebody has to spit on you, or you have to kiss somebody, like like tongue it's through somebody, blood, or, uh, or or somebody has to be sweaty. Like You've got to have bodily fluid contact. Like AIDS. Yes, but you've got to have bodily fluid contact. It's, That's the same thing as AIDS. Ebola. Is you can so only get AIDS overblown. through either it's so fucking someone in the ass. I know it's. I know it's. Or a, through sharing needles is what the two big thing. Or if it's like if if you have an open wound. Yeah. Right. And someone ble- like Magic yes. Johnson. Remember the NBA? They didn't want him playing. That's what Ebola. Like Carl Malone, like the sweetheart of the NBA, was like you know when Magic Johnson wanted to make because I'm a big Lakers fan when Magic Johnson wanted to make his comeback. Yeah. Paul Malone's like, yeah, I, you know, I like Magic Johnson and everything, but he's got and, H- and he's got HIV. What if the fucker gets like elbowed during a layup and his eyes bleeding, and I gotta cut on my and arm, and he's bleeding in my arm, and I get fucking AIDS because yeah, I'm like, well, that's that's what Ebola is. You know? You've got to have this. And John Morgan, a rocket, an unmanned rocket, it had over five thousand pounds. 5,000 pounds of, of stuff that was going to go to the, the International Space Station. What the fuck are you talking about? Unmanned station. rocket. What does that An even mean? An unmanned rocket. They were sending it to the what space station. What does that mean? An unmanned rocket where it's a, a rocket. rocket with nobody in it? Yes. Okay. Unmanned. Unmanned. Okay. Nobody in it. They're, it's got supplies and they're sending it to the uh, space station. And Where's it, the space station? In space, motherfucker. Oh, they're going up in the galaxy and stuff. Yeah, in they're space. They're not going to the moon or the sun or another planet. They're going to some... They're stuff. going to the ISS, the International Space Station. Okay. And they had an unmanned rocket... I didn't even know the ISS ...with nothing existed. but supplies. Okay. Supplies, as in... What kind? ...things that they're going to... Probably clothes for the astronauts that are up there living in the ISS. But it's an unmanned rocket. Probably testing mice, Where things like that. Where are these men coming that. from? Unmanned. Unmanned. Yeah. No men. All right. So why are they bringing clothes if there's no men? Because there's men right now living up in the really? ISS. I didn't know that. Yes. There's okay. three or four of them up Maybe there. Maybe I that should read that. That's pretty interesting. They're probably bringing mice up there's there. There's people. Probably li- uh, bringing. There's people tools. that don't live on Earth. Yes. But are up living in space. perfectly fine. Yes. Way the fuck in some weird in place in the, in the sky. They're up in the ISS. We can't even see their home. Uh, you can see it. Uh, very few times i think it's maybe once a week if that where it crosses over and it's a did big we build it up line. there like where did it come yes, from we built it what do we build it on if there's no land we built it it floats in space it's gravity it floats? Man. yes it floats oh how did you build it if it if it floats one piece at a time you piece so it you're floating and there and you got your hammer and your nails and your Fucking floating and nailing this. When they big spend, house. when they send the astronauts I, I'm out, asking, I don't know. when they send the astronauts out, yeah. they hook them up. Okay, they're hooked up so that okay. they can't float away. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They hook them up. Well, they, yeah, I've they never seen like a big the parts. tube or straw hanging off someone's right. ass. Right, they be, they they hammer in the parts and then they get real the real real. So it literally, they can build in. something that's yes. floating. Yes, that's crazy. That's the ISS. We'll see. Then that, that's floating. shit I should pay attention to. I am, I guess, if it comes to that stuff, because that I didn't know that was possible. That's yes. fucking cool. But anyways, so an unmanned rocket that was taking supplies to the ISS. Yeah. Uh, exploded. Right. You'll like it. The Dino UK. Where the fuck is it? Yeah, yeah I agree. I well, read it. They don't right. know what you're saying. Where the fuck has Boom been for the last 20 years? Yeah, I, right? I never heard of ISS. We've got the ISS. I thought, I thought you know what I thought ISS was? Because I had it once. ISIS. 
No, I've had ISS before. What? In school suspension. Uh, when I was a kid. I, got, <laughs> I swear to God, it's what it was I called. remember ISS. Yeah, so I, I got know, ISS I a couple times. I know. I'd lay my head on my desk and just oh, lay there all fucking Jesus, day, bored as man. shit. Yeah. Oh, Lord. At they least bring everybody. Bring your lunch to you. Yeah. You don't follow any national news or local news. You're not interested in that Anything stuff? Anything I hear on Stern is all I hear. And lately, he's had such good interviews that I skip his his talking stuff. But you're not, straight to the interview. Like, you're not interested in, like, school shootings and things no. like that. Like, the, I don't school, give a fuck. No. the school shooting in Seattle. No. Seattle this past I don't week. care. You don't care about no, that? No, not even a little bit. No. I don't know. I'm into national news and local I know. News. Anytime like, a, I want to know. Don't come in here and tell me, dude, there's this high speed chase. There's this guy. I want to know. I'm, I'm interested. The it's on CNN. It's live yeah. right now. We can watch this guy get busted. Fuck yeah. Well, the other day, you and your sister were white, waiting for this mountain to crumble or something. What was it? A house to break down? Or yeah. Something? It was going to go up there. A house is burning, yeah. and it was on the edge of a cliff, and they had a live yeah. stream up, and the house is burning, so you're waiting for the house <laughs> to fall off the cliff. I'm not waiting. So fucking, I'm not waiting. I am so I didn't give a shit. I sat there yeah. for an hour, two hours to wait to see what they would happen. They called me in the, and they were explaining it to me. You, I stood you there for a few less. seconds and I gave them a couple of, yeah, wow, no shit. Uh huh. And then, like, when I thought it was appropriate, I was like, all right, well, let me know what happened. You know, and then I got the fuck out of there because I don't want to stare at a house for fucking three hours in case it might fall down. I'll, you, you don't know what's going to happen. Give me the highlights after it's over. I don't that's give a suspense. Shit. You don't know what's yeah. going to happen. Well. Is it going to fall? What's going to happen in this police chase? Is the guy going to get out of the car and shoot? What's going to... I don't know. I, you know how I'll find out? When it's done, and I don't have to sit there and wait through all the boring shit, you'll tell me what the that's cool... That's the point of live you'll coverage. coverage. You'll tell me what the cool stuff was. And well, I'll, what about I'm Raw, man? Raw, Raw... If I didn't have to write Raw, then, guess what? I wouldn't be watching it, because it sucks. Subject. You're such a fucking lame old bro. No, I'll You're give you that. Lame, I am, man. I am, I am. Just I'm not denying that. Lame. I'm not denying it. I am. Herb. Plenty of girlfriends have had in the past that said, why don't you like to do anything? You just want to sit around your house, smoke weed, drink beers, and watch TV and shit. And I'm like, yeah. You're a lame You're bro. here, you know, the girl. Hey, that's all I really care about. Lame. Uh, nerd. <laughs> nerd. No, that's a I joke. Say, that I got the opposite. Face. You're the nerd. All right, listen. Cop chases and health is burning down. <laughs> That's a fucking nerd right there, man. Come on. Are you, are you guys interested in that in the chat room? Don't you guys get into that like national news and well, things like things. that? Aren't That's you, not a fair, you guys into that, man? Fair poll. I don't know. I get into all that stuff. There's a manhunt in Pennsylvania that's been on. <laughs> it's been going for sixty for sixty days. This guy's been uh, out in the woods, man. He's been evading. You know, there's probably a manhunt every day in some city in the world. This guy's been out in the woods. This one happens to be on the news. And, oh my God, this is so interesting. This guy's been out in the woods. He's a survivalist for. 60 days What's now. These, for 60 days now. You're not getting any. You said, do you need any by the morning? I said, yes. If you go and read every right. single post on CNN.com tonight, I'm not doing that. And then repeat it to no. me. Read every article from oh. top to bottom. I got work to do when we get off of here, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking I hurt. Could, I could read that and do that and then make Anyways, money. Anyways, we know. left off with uh, AJ Lee and uh, Paige for the... Well, we, we got it right up to the main event. All right, we yeah. got it to the main event. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose in the Hell in a Cell cage and You said match. you'd be honest. <coughs> this match, first and foremost, main event of the show. We talked about it earlier with I'll paint the uh, picture John you Cena. You ready? Yes. The entr the video package plays. Oh, the entrance right, music. Let me plays. let let me wait. Go a ahead. You want a second? Let, let, it, let it. You're gonna need a couple fucking puffs on something. You're gonna get a anxiety. I mean, I mean like three of these. For this All right. One. Yeah, the nerd's anyways. about to give it to you. All right. You ready? The fucking video package plays. The theme music plays. Uh, I'm assuming. Yeah. No. I know it was. It was Dean Ambrose came out first. He comes out. He throws chairs and kendo sticks and all these weapons into the ring, and then he says, "You know what? Fuck it." He climbs up. He's going to be Mick Foley in 1998. King of the <laughs> he... Hey, wake up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? He, huh? He's going to start the match on top of the... Or Dare Rollins to come up there and start the match on top of the cage. The second this happened. The second Ambrose <laughs> climbs to the top of the cage. <laughs> a certain someone comes in my room and says what? I said to you... Go ahead. I I'll correct you if you're fucking full of shit. You said to be honest. I said to you... Go ahead. I said yeah. to you that somebody was going off... Use the right words. Going I off. I said that somebody 
was going off the cage tonight. Now that's, that's wait a minute, wait a minute. You used the whole no, up. Wait a minute. I'm getting there. Okay. I said somebody's going off the cage tonight. Okay. And the reason that went through my mind because he's standing on top of it. Yeah, go ahead. Is because a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, Mick Foley showed up on Raw in a promo with Dean Ambrose, yes. and he talked about Hell in the Cell and how it would. To do add to that, and I'm not could, fucking with and, you. And, and, and go to ahead. To add to that, the uh, the Monday Night War episode that aired two weeks ago, right around the same time you're talking about, uh -huh. was the Mick Foley episode, which was really built around him coming off. The I case. did not know that yes, at the time. Going through so, the anyways, I said to Boone, somebody is going off that cage tonight. That's what I originally said. I'm thinking Mick Foley back in the day. I am These thinking. These two are marks. Am, they grew up thinking, fans. They saw that. They want to. I am beat. thinking yeah. at this point, and let me know if it you makes agree. sense. Let me know if you agree. No, no, no. In the chat room. Oh, wait a minute. What we'll question are you asking? asking? Are you we'll asking? The, was somebody going up? Now, no, wait a minute. We'll then I continue with Boone. I continued. No, no. I continued with Boone. I continued with Boone. And I finally said to him, he asked me. He said they're going off. The I didn't cage. ask you shit. He you said, came in he here. Said, he said they're going off the cage, or they're going off the top of the cage. I said oh, somebody. Clarify, I yeah. said somebody is going off the top of the cage Thanks. tonight. He's being okay? honest, and that's that's what yeah, that's right. what Boo wants me to say. And I did. I thought well, they even that specifically told him they might be <coughs> coming off the side and of I the cage. I told Boone. I said to Boone. I said they are going to start this match on top of the cage. The entire match is going to be on top of the cage. He's very honest. And the okay. finish, the yes. finish of this match, will be yeah. Is somebody's okay. getting thrown off that fucking cage, and that's it. Thank you. That's a hundred percent honest. I what said you just somebody, heard. That's a hundred percent honest. And, and, and you right know there. what? You know what? It didn't happen. It didn't even it come didn't, close. It to didn't happen. even come <laughs> yeah, close. No. And you were right. Now, yeah. now, did somebody go off the cage? Now, I clarified yes. that. I yes. said, but I did say top of the cage, okay. and it didn't happen. Yeah, because I even Got clarified, it. and I said the very first hell in the cell ever. I said these two, because me and my boss were talking about it. As soon as Amber started climbing before the match. I told my boss, I said, you know what? I got Good night, Dino UK in the chat. He's good night, buddy. Dino is one of my favorites. Yeah, he's, man. He's a good dude. He's Great going guy, about it, man. Good night, Dino. Good All right, night, brother. So I, anyway, I told talking to your boss. Before the show, like hours before the show, mm -hmm. we're talking about play by play and what he wants me to do because he's my boss. He's telling me what to do. Right. So I, and we were talking about the matches and stuff, and I said, you know what? I got a feeling, man. Ambrose and Rollins are students of the game. Mm -hmm. They grew up wrestling fans. They fucking love it. They're passionate. And they both happen to be insane risk takers. Right. Ambrose right. is fucking the lunatic fringe. He's and not. That's why I thought because Rollins of the risk is a ri he'll jump off the fucking Absolutely. what was it the uh, hell no a couple of pay-per-views ago remember he jumped off the balcony the yeah. entrance way yeah. on the on the, when right. it was the Shield versus Evolution they right so, the, so they're right. both fucking nuts right and they're both students of the game they both grew up huge wrestling fans plus the Foley promo you're talking about plus Monday Night War plus knowing this is Hell in a Cell and this. Cannot be made belittled. Mm -hmm. They're going on last. Mm -hmm. They decided. They Cena Orton for the yes. WWE t Championship shot against Brock Lesnar is going to go on in the middle of the show. You fuckers who have nothing on the line doing the same match they're doing. We're putting you on last. You're going on last. So something, big. something big is that. Something. So what I told my boss was, I said I envision at least two memorable spots mm -hmm. during this match. That's all I said. There was I said one. two spots. There was two. Okay, what's the second? The, the stretcher thing. Well, you get to it. The Go second ahead. was the, the Macho Man elbow when the, the, the table was... thing, okay. No, yeah, the yeah. table was slanted. I know when they were off the cage, right? right. Yeah. I get that. I, I knew that. It the looks stretcher crazy. thing, okay. okay. Yeah, the stretcher's right. the main. All right, okay. But they tried okay. to recreate it. We'll say so that. So you told them that. I said that, and, and, you know, he agreed and this and that. And then uh, we get to the show, and as soon as Ambrose started climbing... I, I typed to him, I said, uh, I said, here's one of these spots, and I said, but, dot, 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 ain't a chance in hell someone's going off the top. Vince would never allow it these days. They're what did your boss say? They're too straight. He agreed completely. He agreed. He agreed completely. Okay. Okay. But he agrees with me a lot, because I usually don't say nothing unless I'm pretty sure. Did anybody think... I got a good let track me, record. Let me ask you guys in the chat room. Did anybody think... Well, of course it goes through your mind. Did, did you, anybody think... The question is, did you think... It would really happen. Somebody, Not that it goes in your mind briefly that oh maybe it could happen. Somebody was going off the yeah. top of the cage 
that night at Hell in the Cell. That's the question. Did anybody yes or no that? in the chat, please. WZROnline.com. Yes or no. Come. Did anybody think that? And, and now that the show's over, be time. honest. Be honest. Going into the show, there's probably going to be a like, no, Get no way. This, that, and the, right. the, but did anybody think going into the show, when you were watching it live, did you think that somebody was going off the top of the, the, the cell? Here you go. During the paper. Vin- Winner's Lair. Yeah, I My agree with... Winner- Winner's Lair. Yeah, I agree with Boone. Vince is never going to let someone go off the top again. Winner's Lair said, no, I didn't think so. Eagles fan, 0683, no. All right. Slayer, double R, no. Winner's Lair, uh, 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 what's the other no I just missed? Uh, whatever. A bunch of people are saying that. Nobody Eagles fan, uh, said, there you go. said no as well. But, uh... uh Chris I Brown, not unless someone lost their footing on the top of the cage, like, so an accident. Yeah. No. All right, there's a lot of no's. But see that? I'm, I'm being honest. If I'm I mean, being honest, what he? I'll read this comment again. And Anthony Remy agree with it, and Slayer agree with it. Chris Brown, Chris underscore Brown from the chat room, wzronline.com slash chat. Not unless someone lost their footing on the top of the cage. No, right. Meaning, unless it was an accident. Did it go through my head right. that these two are such rebels that they might plan a thing where like it's something crazy? They agreed ahead of time. No, Vince, we're not going to go off the top. And then like they get right. to a spot that they did plan out right. that's not supposed to result in them going off the cage. But maybe they're near the edge and they tease it and they tell Vince we're going to tease it, but it's not going to happen. Right, right. And then like they pretend it's an accident, but do it anyway. Right. Kind of right. like you know how blading is is outlawed. But right. some guys will fucking blade themselves yeah, right. anyway and claim that they got hard weighed. Not in this day, though. No, right. no, 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 this day. These right. days, like, right. these, these days, you're not allowed to bleed. Right. But some guys will do it anyway and claim that, no, it's real. I really got busted open. I didn't blade myself. Mm-hmm. They'll mm-hmm. pretend it's real. Right. I, for a second, and, and it's just a split second, I thought, because I was listening to what you said and this and that, and you, you were fucking, you made a convincing argument. Like, he didn't give you his explanation why he thought what he thought. He just told you what he thought. If you would listen, and you probably don't even remember it, but his whole argument of why this is going to happen, if you really listen to it, and you're watching it, <laughs> yeah, I got you. no, the baby's crying, you're know, making it sound like it's me. Uh, it, it starts to make sense in your head, you're like, you know what, this motherfucker might be right. This may You happen. think that right. for a second, right. but all the while I'm thinking, there's no fucking way. And you were right, you were right. Beyond that, but... but then I started thinking, well, if it would happen, there's no way Vince would let it, so how could they do it? And then I started Why thinking wouldn't briefly. Vince let it, though? Because he doesn't let. If you get a concussion, you can't finish your match. Yeah, if you true. get blood, the that's match true. stops, we clean you up. They that's are so true. strict these days. AJ Lee gets a, uh, not even a concussion. They Listen. thought she had a concussion during a house show. She didn't Listen. work for what? Three don't, weeks? Don't bring weeks? up the whole blood thing. It could have been the finish of the match. So somebody goes off the cage, and that's it, man. Even but no, if the concussion but even thing works into that. They would, never put in, absolutely. they would never put Bloody someone thing. in a situation where there's a guaranteed good right. percentage of injury. That you're going to get injured. We're not going to allow you're right. it. You're it's right. a different day. These All right. Days. All right. So that's, but then I started thinking in my head, well, how could Ambrose and Rollins, without management's knowledge, talk with each other about, here's what we're they doing would tonight. Do and that. I'm not saying they would. But right. in my head, I'm thinking if they really want to, because I'm thinking they're marks. They're getting their first chance to main the event, main event a pay-per-view. Pay-per-view. They're going on last right. over... The two biggest stars in the business, Cena Orton, who has a title shot looming for the winner. They got nothing looming for the winner. Right. They're going on ahead of them in the last match at the Hell in a Cell. Mankind's got the history. What did he say? Go ahead. He's, he's agreeing with me where oh, I okay. genuinely, genuinely thought that somebody was going off the uh, Hell in a Cell. All right. Finish that up. That thought up real that, that, quick, That's man. the finish of my thought. Yeah, yeah. We'll just that, that they were maybe, maybe, for a split second, maybe they would talk it out to where we could do it. And then tell them it was an accident. Tell them it was an but accident. But I'm telling you, I shouldn't right. have even said it because that makes sense. I didn't really I think know. that. I For know. a split second, I'm thinking, if he's right, like how can I tell him? But technically, they didn't get his permission. You know, we need to move on yes. to Monday Night Raw. Well, no, real quick, what did you think of the match? Fifteen minutes left in this show yeah, well, tonight. We're going long, I thought. Uh, but ten or fifteen minutes. A little bit. And then we yeah. get real quick, what did you think of the match? I thought it was a very good match. Yeah, um, and the finish of the match, Bray Wyatt showed up. Uh, the we lights talked about it. Yeah. The lights went out. Bray Wyatt showed up and said, "Not only did the lights go out in the arena, the the screen went completely black on what the paper." Bray, uh, what did he was Bray mumbling say gibberish, gibberish stuff. And then said, all of a sudden, the lantern appeared in the ring. Right, smoke right. started coming out of it, and then you see a hologram silhouette. Right, of the right. outline of Bray Wyatt, and out of nowhere, bah, he comes through the smoke. He comes out. Uh, and right. he, he gets a rock bottom now, on Ambrose. Rollins pins him after the match, and he hits his sister Ambrose. Now, although everybody's thinking, man, what a shitty ending. What a, I didn't what think a, that. 
I didn't think I that I loved it. I'm thinking ahead that... Listen, Only on paper do you see something this cool. Listen, we have just had a really good match for the amount of time that it lasted. And then, think about it. The following night on Raw, in the weeks to come, the promos between Bray Wyatt, the promos with Dean Ambrose Did and I talk Bray to you? Wyatt. That's exactly what I said to Shane. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, this is going to be awesome. Yes. Man. This is a few between yes. two crazy guys. The promos are going to be fucking great. And Raw was the first example. I thought that promo was awesome. While you're picking your teeth, wow. I hate that we can't get into that match because we're short on time. But just real quick, I'll say, the whole time, the announcer, I've seen guys come off the top, and this is before the match even started when Ambrose is just standing there waiting on Rollins. Right. I've seen guys come off the top, I've seen guys go through it, this and that, and then when they did their bump, which, which we didn't even explain, they climbed halfway down the cage. Right. Right, right, right. They did the Shawn Michaels bump in the first Hell in Cell with Undertaker. He's halfway down the cage holding on. And jumped off. Yeah, they, well, they didn't jump off, but like I think Undertaker off, stopped right. his hands or head butted him and he backwards into the table. Did you say Undertaker? It was Undertaker Shawn Michaels, oh, okay. the first ever okay. Hell in a Cell Undertaker Hell, and Mankind was the famous one that came to the ring. But, anyways, they mimicked the Shawn Michaels bump, which was their halfway down the cage, and then they did the thing where they each, I think it was Ambrose grabbed Rollins by the hair and fucking smashed his face. Mm -hmm. And then when he did it again, bam, they both let go and they just fall at the same time. The brilliance and the genius of the bump was that they both went at the same time. Right, That's right. what made it cool. There were two separate tables. They were cut in half. The Spanish because, and the uh, English. And that was the smart move. It wasn't cut in half. It was the Spanish and now table and the English okay. table. All right. right. Yeah, so the move. brilliance was they went at the same time. Right. right. Nobody sees that coming. It looked like a really yes. cool spot. Um, the part I didn't like was that they were doing all the teases that it could be somebody coming off the top. And then when the stretchers came, they're trying to hard sell it. Like, you knew they're that trying they were to sell get it. off. The they're strength. trying to sell it the same way the Mankind thing was, which if you see the visual for Mankind versus the visual of what we just saw there, which we see on Raw all the time. Guys right. come off the top rope to a table. Right. How's that any different? They're at the same height. They're coming to a table. Why are we supposed to suspend this belief and say, oh my God, they might be dead. Right. Going, you knew they were not getting believable. off that. You knew they were getting It's off not believable. It's Overall, yeah. WWE Hell a Cell, top to bottom. Uh, B. School are great. B. B plus. B plus. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to say yeah. B plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say B plus. Now, if you're right. arguing who should have won, I thought Orton should have won. I thought Ambrose. Ambrose should have won because Rollins got to get out of jail free card. He's got True. the briefcase. True, he does. And he's right. moving on. Yeah. He's right. moving on to the fucking main event program where Ambrose is going down to, to Bray Wyatt. Right, right, right. right. Uh, Orton Cena, Cena's face, Lesnar twice. Don't worry to see it. Anymore. Orton's turning face. Right. Lesnar's a heel. It, it, like both of them didn't make sense to me. But okay. Uh, coming out of <laughs> Hell in a Cell, Monday Night Raw last night, the Authority kicked things off. Yes. Right. They are so proud of Seth Rollins. I They're mean, he him did up. the job last the, night. The, they, that's when they started those those. Uh, Randy Orton lost. That's what they sold those quick terms we were saying earlier. The standard, right. the stand, the new right. standard bearer for WWE. Right. The future right. of WWE. All those key phrases All are his new nickname. Right. So yeah. Triple H says, please welcome the winner of last night's Hell in the Cell, Seth Rollins. Which is Seth supposed Rollins to piss Orton off. Seth Rollins on yeah. the microphone he won last his night. Hell in the cell. You Seth lost Rollins it. on yeah, the microphone last night. Really? Eh, I don't like the way you're going so in. Not so good. Not so good last night on the microphone. Good. 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 His promo was scripted, though. If you look, at it was. That's the problem. That I had. I'll give you the one line that sucked that's the most. The problem he, that and I, I don't even remember the exact words, but he says, "My intellectual prowess will beat your uh, unpredictable mayhem." Right. Like it was words where you're like, he would never say that. Exactly. What the fuck, man? It was. It takes. You know, the whole point of wrestling is you suspend your disbelief. You know, it's fake. Sorry, that's a bad word, but you know it's a show, blah, 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 blah. It's scripted. It's a scripted show, blah, 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 but you don't want to have the fact that it's scripted rubbed in your face. Right, right. When a guy like Seth Rollins is saying, my intellectual prowess will always devour your mehemical blah, 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 blah. You're like, no, man. He, well, Sa that's not how you talk. Sandow used to do that, but, but that's his character. was believable. That, but that's his he character. He's the smart, he was Harvard believable. graduate. Asshole, I'm better than you guy. He Rollins was, is not that guy. He's hey. not that guy. So he's and not going to talk with, like that. That's the problem that I had, is Rollins' promo came across as very, very scripted last night. Yes. Where you and can't it, feel just, what he's saying. When when Ambrose talks, like later in the show, you felt every word. And that's the thing. When that's, Wyatt talks. When, I, when we brought it up earlier and I said Ambrose and Rollins, if Ambrose was that guy last night, 
I feel like Ambrose, with a scripted promo like that, the delivery from Ambrose would have been ten times better than what Rollins had. He's got a great delivery. Picture Ambrose in the place of Rollins last night. If you were to put Rollins and Ambrose with that same promo, Ambrose would have delivered it. You want a great example? Yeah. I'll give you a recent example. Hell in a Cell, what we were just talking about. Guess what his pre-match promo was? A fucking Halloween joke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he turned that into before Hell in a Cell. Right. Where you're supposed to be like, this is serious business. Old costumes, this, I'm going to fucking rip your fucking... Eight. Like, right, he's right. the man at delivery. He, was, he, he can take good. shit and make it great. He was good. All right, we had... Uh, we'll skip the... the Orton. Uh, he came out. Oh, Randy Orton came out. Yeah, we can't skip that, that fucking man. key thing Jesus. or all. Yeah. Randy Orton came out, and right from the top was just anger management galore. He right? says... He, he even pissed. says... He says, I'm so... Fu-, he's talking about how or- Rollins curb stomped him two weeks ago. Right. On a Raw. And that and he's blaming that on why he lost the scene at Hell in a Cell. So he's telling him, and my head still hurts. It hurts so bad that I'm so fucking angry. You know, he didn't say fucking whatever. I'm so fucking angry that I might need to even go to anger management, which I did in 2006 for real. Like, right, which right. makes you think. Like, right. Honestly, he might have gone to anger management. Kind of, he, he sounds like the we kind of guy. Up. Is he that a report? Forced, okay. He was forced into anger okay, management so it's from WWE. There you go. And then he's telling Triple H, I warned you, you talk to him or I'm going to talk to him. Right. Talking about Rollins, this and that. Right. Triple H's like, calm down. Right. Calm down. And Orton starts to calm down a little bit. And then when you think he's calm, out of nowhere, he pushes Triple H aside. Our fucking KO out of nowhere. Shit. I'm sorry. Yes, no, go ahead. Hey, put the Triple H side, our fucking KO out of nowhere, hops up, tears his shirt off, runs out of the ring, walks away. Yeah, that, I tell you what. It's, you think Randy, the Triple H is calm and calm down. Calm, it was it's all good, just, and he was Now it's not the time, there will be a time <laughs> for this, this. So you think, or, and Orton's like, you know what? And then just out of nowhere, he goes, Bam! Bam! Like, oh was, shit! That was a, that was, it was a, awesome. It was a great opening promo. I Honestly, thought. Speaking I, or are we I, getting I, cigarettes? I today? thought the uh, you already have cigarettes out there. Oh, okay. You uh, the the authority uh, the authority was great in their role. Randy Orton was amazing in his role last night on the microphone to open that segment. Physically too, he was awesome. Seth Rollins was the weak link during that Come on. entire opening Come promo. On. Listen. He was the way, you just admitted that it was a scripted promo. I said there was a couple lines that it wasn't believable. That's not his fault. You was can't the say author- was the authority good Seth last night. Rollins. Was the authority good last night? Do they say their own lines? Was the authority good last? Do they say their own lines? I'm gonna. Th- I'm gonna. My name, point. I'm gonna. Th- th- the Go authority. Ahead. Seth Rollins. Randy Orton. Randy Orton number one. Yeah. The authority number two. Seth Rollins. Now, out of those three, Seth Rollins. Out of those three, out of those three, tell me which one has to follow the script because he doesn't have the ability Rollins. to just say whatever Rollins. he wants. Yeah, Rollins. Orton can say whatever he wants. The Authority can say whatever they want. No, Stephanie whatever. McMahon can fuck with John Cena, which we'll get into in a minute. Right about the the chance and shit. Rollins doesn't have that freedom. He gets in trouble if he doesn't do what he's told. I, I thought that I thought the entire opening segment was awesome. Now uh, listen, Seth Rollins. Can I say something? Didn't, Who didn't. was the weak link? Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. Thank you. Can I tell you why? Uh, I, you just explained why. Actually, I'll tell you right now. You just it explained. was